Hey YouTube, it's Crystal. So time has been going by very, very fast. Like, just, I'm overwhelmed with how fast time has been going since I've been here. I am realizing that next month I'm leaving here. So I don't exactly know how or whatever, but I'm leaving. I have a job set up already in Minnesota and I feel like time is just going by really fast. I think even since I started school, time has been going by every every day so much quicker because since I have like assignments due on certain days, I feel like my nose is just in the computer trying to get my schoolwork done and get other things done and so I haven't had time for other things. Anyways. After my job in Minnesota, I am going to be <clears throat> moving to Oregon. Officially, I will be moving to Oregon, Oregon, Portland area. Now, my problem is, is that I have not been able to find an RV park that has availability or that will take us. I've called every RV park in the Portland area and Two of them said that they could give us applications so that we could be put on their waiting list, but their applications, their like stipulations that, that I do not qualify for, that I would not be able to even apply for their RV park. Like, I have to have at least an income of $1,500 or more and provide proof of that every month. I don't have that. I will be living off of what money I make in Minnesota in order to go to Oregon and look for a job and start paying. And whatever I make here, like savings from here and Minnesota, and that's how I'll be like getting by kind of thing. So it's not like I will be having a monthly income and be able to provide that. Not only that, even if I did have that, the RV parks require that my RV is 10 years or younger. And I have an 03. It's in really good condition. It doesn't look like an 03. It could look like an 05 maybe. Um, and I take as best care of it as I possibly can. So even with that, they would not allow my RV into their parks. So not one RV park can I find for us to go to. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. In summer, you guys are probably thinking, well, why don't I change my location or why don't I go somewhere else or why exactly am I going to that area? Well, <clears throat> they have a school there, um, OHSU. It's one of the best midwifery schools in the country. And I, I don't know if it's like rated number one, but it's definitely up there on the list. <clears throat> And I, I want to do that. I want to finish up school and then start, I'm going to incorporate OHSU into that. And I, to be able to graduate from a midwifery school that's the, one of the top in the country is, would be amazing. So that is why I want to go to Portland area. So yeah, it's just kind of struggling right now to kind of find a place for us to go. I thought that calling well two months in advance would be able to secure me a spot, but the few RV parks that would be okay with the age of my RV, uh, they are on a waiting list that is, is absolutely ridiculous. There's some that are, have like 50 on their waiting list, 80 on their waiting list, and there's an RV park that are my number one RV park that I chose has a two year waiting list for for full timers who want to go monthly. So not to say that like any of these parks don't have like openings at all. They have openings just not for monthly people. So I could go bounce around like one week at a time, but that would be that would be very costly and not efficient at all. So <coughs> I'm not quite sure what exactly I'm going to do in that situation. If you guys have any advice for me going into the area or know of a campground that I'm just not seeing online that you would recommend, or if you know someone uh, 
who knows of a place that it, that I'm just not seeing. So the prices are seem to be all in the about four or five hundred dollar range for monthly there, which is totally fine with me. I uh, I'm actually thankful it's that price and not higher. In California, it was much higher. So. <coughs> 500 is a lot for an RV park, but not not that much uh, more than I expected for the area. So, anyways, that is what I'm kind of up to now. I'm going to think positive and <laughs> just pray that we get a spot before then, because we won't need it until the end of October. So hopefully, something will just pop up. I am on one waiting list and so there were, I think I will be honest, there was like one that did have availability but I would, I called and talked to the people and then I looked at the reviews online and saw all the pictures and I was like even if they did have it, like were able to accept me, I just, I couldn't take my kids to a spot that I felt that was unsafe. So. There was one RV park where I was like, thank you, I'm glad that you have an opening, um, but I'm just gonna keep calling around because I just did not feel safe with what the reviews had and the pictures and, and talking to the person at the front desk, whoever that was. So that is my situation. And the truck situation is, is what it is, I mean, I'm, I think in situations like this, it kind of only helps strengthen my faith because it's like, I know I have a job next month lined up and it's not here. So I need to get there somehow. So let's just have faith that my truck will get fixed before then so that I will be able to go and it will be safe and reliable. And so this is also one of those things where I, I have prayed about it and it's like, well, <clears throat> Do I, should I really do this and is this responsible and you know, I mean this truck is like so much money to get fixed, what in the world and I prayed about it and prayed about it and I really feel strongly to take the job in Minnesota and then continue with the plan that I had. So I'm just going to have some faith that the truck will get fixed and I will have enough money raised and are saved and <clears throat> it will get done. So. Yeah, my my faith has helped tugging me along in that area, which is is kind of nice because uh, there's not much else I can rely on in that situation. So, anyways, that's what's going on. Oh, I took my midterms last weekend, and you know how I said math was really hard. I don't know if you guys are on my Facebook page, but algebra is like a subject that is. <clears throat> really not a subject that I'm a fan of and I struggle with it a lot. I actually had tutors, a, a tutor for my algebra class. Well, I took my midterm and guess what I scored? I scored a 97% on my midterm. Holy cow. On a subject that I thought I was really, really good at, which is English, I, in my composition class, I scored like an 82 on my midterm. So that was totally flipped around how I thought the scores would be and <clears throat> I don't know, m maybe I'm better at math than I thought I was kind of thing. I, I don't know what's going on there, but I thought I was way better at the whole verbs, noun, pronouns and all that other stuff. And, uh, but yeah, different scores than I thought I was going to get. However, in all of my classes, I am making straight A's and A in some form or another. So I think the lowest, lowest score I have right now is like a, a 94% and that's in my composition class. And then everything else is in 94 or above. So I'm doing really good. Started a new class this week. So I should probably hop on that since my kids are asleep and get going on that. Every time my kids are asleep, it's like prime time for me to do my schoolwork because there's no one around to bother me and I'm just all alone. So anyways, that's what's going on. If you guys do have any insight into Portland, Oregon area on where to stay or 
uh, a campground maybe recommendation let me know that would be great and for all my praying friends if you could just shoot me some prayers about the truck and the situation then I will definitely be able to um, continue to have faith that that situation will get fixed so I appreciate you guys for watching and I'm so sorry that I have not been updating more regularly however I do have an upcoming addition or surprise I guess for you guys um, probably won't be for a week or so though but thanks for watching I love you guys you guys are awesome and thanks for rooting me on you guys rock <laughs>